sweatshirt. I like the rain. I like the rain, by the way, only when I don't have to perform outdoors. Playing live. Because even if you record in studio, you have to imagine you're playing for somebody. You always play for somebody. You play for the composer, you play for yourself, and then you play for the audience. If you're in the studio, you have to imagine that. But of course, the most beautiful thing is playing for people. Asking questions. Answering is easy. The toughest part is to come up with a valid question. Because if I may elaborate, as a musician, you always have to ask yourself questions. That's the most important thing as an instrumentalist, as an interpreter. You have to ask yourself every time, why am I doing this? Is this written in the score? Is this integrity? Does that make sense? I'm asking myself questions all the time. I'm questioning myself when I'm in the studio. I'm questioning myself when I work and prepare something. Answers are easy. Questions are hard. I'm not a thrill seeker. I think the most thrilling things happen up here in my mind. Um, I'm very excited when I have a new tune, when something happens in the studio, when we discover something which works. Those are the moments I get very enthusiastic about. I like dinner. I'm not a morning person in the sense oh, I have to have my breakfast, I guess. <laughs> it's not the most healthiest way, I don't know. I like dinner. I would love still to own a beautiful Guarneri del Gesù from the late 40s. I mean, he died in 44, but from the 40s. Um, since all my icons actually had one um, themselves and of course that's the pinnacle um, and and probably something very very difficult to get but you still have to have dreams I was thinking when you asked that question would I miss my eyesight more or my ears Very difficult. I, I really would not like to miss anything. And especially having senses in life make, makes life incredible. Um, I, I wouldn't be able to give you an answer. Hopefully, I never have to decide. <laughs>